Well, welcome back viewers, it's James Calm, the guy on the bike, and uh, we're here to run through a show by this gentleman, Sandro Kia, maybe we'll be able to snag him later for a little chat, here at the Stephen Harvey Fine Art Project. Let's see if we can push these people out of the way. Jeez, there's Walter Robinson. Well, this is a small gallery and it's pretty full and there are a lot of pieces so I'm not going to have time to give you the titles. I would say most of these are somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, maybe 8 by 10 inches, 10 by 12 inches. And uh, this is all a series of uh, works from I guess maybe the last two or three years by Sandro. And uh, I think this is all watercolor, pen and ink, maybe pencil, some gouache on paper. Uh, well, I think uh, Sandro might be one of the prime movers behind a lot of what became known as the trans avant-garde. Oh, I like this one in the pen lines are nice. And there's his little teddy bear characters. And uh, he was one of the three C's. He and Kuki and Clementi. Oh, I like this series with the heads. And uh, that whole movement was also kind of happening at the same time in Germany with the Neue Wilden and uh, Immendorf, Polka, Kiefer, Basilitz. This is nice too. Let's maybe slip in the back room. Well, I know that the uh, the Italian Transom Guard broke in New York probably 80, 81. I like this one. Uh, you know, it's great the way that he builds up the uh, the watercolor and the ink over time, and it really kind of goes beyond the regular transparency that you get with it. And, uh, well, I worked at Utrecht the Art Store. Oh, this is interesting with the white ink. Utrecht the Art Store over on uh, 4th Avenue, and uh, I used to make deliveries to Sandro's studio. I really like this one. I like the polka dots. And uh, yeah, you can really see the way that he's built up the pigment over time on that. Oh my god. I Now, almost all of these kind of feature this uh, lone figure. Sometimes he's accompanied with teddy bears or some kind of little bears. I like what he's doing over there with his, his lettering. Oh. Oh. Hey, doesn't that look more like... This is Steve Harvey. Tell us a little bit about organizing the show. Oh, well, it's been such a pleasure to make this show, Lauren. The, um... I've been a fan for a long time. Well, you know, this, what happened, I'll just tell you exactly how it happened. The, um... 
I was looking at Sandro's work on Facebook. He posts yeah, a lot I'm, of I'm a Facebook friend with him too. I know, and he posts a lot of work on Facebook, and it's really interesting. And I began to realize how much, how interested I was in it, and in, in some of the kind of conversation in his work. And at the same time, we, I have a mutual friend, which is Lisa Rosen, one of our restorers. Oh. A great restorer. And she was telling me how nice Sandro is, right, personally. Yeah, he's great. And um, so I began to correspond with him. And I said, you know, I'm interested in your works on paper, and I have a gallery. And he came to visit me. And he said, I said, well, you know, we show painting. We, we, we specifically focus on painting. And sure. And he said, well, how interesting, a gallery focused on painting. Yeah, that is unusual these days. It is. And uh, so this began a little conversation, and, and it's been amazing to do because he, he organized it so nicely, so easy to work with. And, and I think that there's, there were 38 works shipped here. Oh, okay. That's, I was wondering how many pieces were in the show. We didn't hang about three or four, or four of them, so there must be about 34, I'd say. And they just each one, I think, is so interesting and cool. And, then, and part of it is, I think he told me that... He spent several years on it. Like he'll start, he'll touch a piece of paper. Keep working on it, lay it aside, pick it up. You know, the other thing is you talk about painting and even though these are on paper and some people might consider them closer to drawing, they're, real, they're really little paintings. And the part of it is this facture, you know, they're layered, they're yes. mostly layered, they're densely worked considering they're in an like an aqueous medium. And if you look at like this one, they have like, you can see there, there must have been other pictures underneath it, you know, like the, the, the washed, the sort of pink, pale pink wash. You know, he wood. does, he gets that great quality of a painter and the transparency and the layering. But then here again with the pen and ink, you get the great uh, draftsmanship, the drawing with the stylist, and uh, exactly. so he kind of combines the best of both worlds. And uh, you know, he is a great colorist. He, he always colorist, has been a great colorist. colorist. Beautiful. I mean, yeah, let's go around and look. I mean, and also, it's very much at some of the roots somehow because he's such an earthy artist. You know? Exactly. I mean, they have this both comic comedy and pathos you know like the single male figure obviously identified with him some of the times the hatchet is in his head right he's got arrows through his flanks you know it's clearly like kind you know like the artist of saint sebastian and i guess a lot of people would think that uh sandra has kind of suffered a certain amount of uh <laughs> tragedy especially as far as the art world goes for him so maybe it's a little autobiographical it's funny Lawrence. i hear that a lot but the fact is i see a person who's like seems completely comfortable living in the world so it's kind of an interesting paradox you know absolutely who lives in rome and has a vineyard and lives in miami i mean it's, okay yeah kids not suffering too much all right exactly. <laughs> i mean I, we know some suffering artists <laughs> thanks Stephen. i'm gonna go and look through the rest of the show well it's thinning out a little bit so we can get some better views Figure with uh, angel wings. This is nice, but uh, we can see it's almost like there was the same figure kind of repeated behind him, and then he uh, went in and corrected some of that. Oh, this one is really beautifully colored. I love the aquas and the. Uh, Cobalt blues. Another great one with uh, text. Rhodus Tilum Sator. Uh, this one was used on the card. And here again we've got the uh, hand holding the arrow piercing his uh, buttocks. That's reference to San Sebastian. This is nice where he's sort of going into the uh, the blue end of the spectrum. This is bear friend. Uh, I also like this one. The little dots. The dancing figure. And wrap up on this. This kind of makes me think of uh, Van Gogh or the Malay, the sower. Nice color. Anyway, we finally caught up with Sandro Kia, the artist. Congratulations. I've been a big fan of your work for about 30 some odd years. 
He's asking for help. Help, help. Looks like you got some green on your <laughs> Well, maybe I've been working. Um, well, first of all, how, how long have you been working on this series of drawings? These drawings for many years. There are different layers, different times, different situations. And but we're not meant to be shown, you know. But with Stephen, we decided. He saw that the, the, sometimes I was posting the drawings, the on, pastels, on Facebook. colors in Facebook. Yeah. And uh, he, he saw it in Facebook, and he proposed me a show. And I like very much this area of New York. Sure. When I was in New York here, nobody was coming here to this area. The size of the gallery, I think, is just perfect. It's perfect. Tell me a little bit about what kind of uh, medium you're using here. This mostly watercolor? Uh, watercolor, uh, gouache, uh, pen and ink. And pen, yeah. uh, ink, and uh, you name it. I mean, it's really mixed media. You know, and you do a beautiful job with it. Yeah, uh, One other question I had was, uh, you know, it seems you, you were uh, quite a well-known art star back in the 80s with uh, the trance avant-garde and the neo-expressionism and uh, it seems like people are starting to get interested in that again and that's become uh, kind of an absolute. you got the big uh, polka show at the modern uh, I think uh, Schnabel's got a big show at Gagosian coming up and uh, well people are starting to pay attention to you again they're writing articles about that whole thing congratulations oh, thank you it's great no, this is much more intimate. It's made uh, mostly for my friends, a few people. It's not really, uh, it's not a show off of any sort. You know, it's the most intimate and uh, and personal and uh, and and you know, it's legal personal work. You know, it's, it's, it's yes. no experimental. There is no, if not in, in in spiritual terms. I'm experimenting about myself, my way of approaching the world, my relationship with the paper, with the color, with the different layers of. Uh, you know, it's, it's like my world. Okay. Well. I'll cut it short and you can get back to your guests here, but thanks for talking to us, Sanaki. I've been a big fan for years and years, and, and I used to make deliveries to your studio on 23rd Street for Utrecht, the paint store, <laughs> back when I was a kid. Anyway, nice to see you, and uh, congratulations on the show. Thank you. James Calm reporting on Sandro Kia. Works on paper here. Stephen Harvey. Fine arts. Thank you, Kate. Oh, that was brilliant. What's your name? Morgan. Okay. Thank you, Morgan. That was great. Thank you.